It was about midday, but I noticed things seemed to be slightly different. First off, Al, the challenger, would already be working on it, but he had a say in due to some construction on the line. Howard the Mikado was always doing yard work, but today he was supposed to do some freight work. It was kind of weird. Then there was Greg, the BNSF. He was never, and I mean never, in his shed, but he had some problems with me, so he was resting for a few days. Those three engines leave the yard. We consider them somewhat uh, as elders. They were smart and strong, so the other engines would listen to them, for the most part at least. As the three continued to talk, a plane passed overhead. I didn't take much notice of it though. I'd wanted to say something to the engines, but I was fairly new, and I didn't want to seem... Well, I wasn't really sure. Is something up, Liam? You seem to be thinking. Don't worry about him, Al. He's probably just nervous before his run. It is his first time on that part of the line. No, Greg, it's not that. It's just that, well, since I got here, things have been a little, um, well, fishy. Fishy? What makes you say that? Well, it's just, you know, that for the past few days our engines have been cooped up or doing new jobs. I find it odd. Don't worry about it, Liam. You think too much. I think that tonight's run will do you some good. You have been crammed in the yard for long hours of the day. A run will do you some good. Maybe you're right, Howard. But what if something is up? Well, I guess we'll find out. For now, I have to fetch my train. Good luck, Howard. It's your first train in some years. You will do fine. Thanks, Al. As Howard left, Randall had pulled into the sheds. Where's Howard go? The scrap heap? Fitting, but no. He's going to pull his train. What? Howard pulling a train? That's different. What's the occasion? We're not all sure ourselves, but... We're still happy for him. He deserves a good run. He doesn't need to be crammed in the yard all hours of the day. Like Liam. Hey! So Liam, I hear that you're... So Liam, I hear that you have a late train going tonight. Are you up for it? I think so. Just make sure you keep your driver and fireman checked. Make sure they don't fall asleep. Hey, won't you be on that same line, Randall? Yeah, but not until morning. I'll be passing you by the Blue Lake Station at around, I want to say 8-ish, maybe? If only I had known that would be the last time I would talk to Randall. I went to sleep shortly after the conversation to get some shut eye before the long run. At around 10 o'clock at night, I was drowsily waking from the steam trickling into my pipes. It was comforting, but as I sat there, I heard a plane fly overhead. I also saw a few shapes by Randall. I couldn't really see what they were but I could tell they were men. I couldn't hear anything they were saying either, so I thought them to be inspection crew. Are you sure this is the right engine? Of course I am. This one's pulling a train in the morning, with all the expected people on board. Boss says this will grab the railway's attention and help us in our pursuit. Got it. Let's finish the job. I'm tired. Steam engines here were always being checked by inspection workers, so I took no notice of the men. Once I had awoken, my driver and fireman opened the regulator. Steam rushed into my pistons and I slowly moved forward. All but a few of the engines at this time were asleep. I was gone to as different as I was. But the next morning, I didn't feel so great. And you all know why. 
So, the day after the incident, the engines and the drivers all gathered around the sheds to discuss yesterday's incident. All but a few trains were present, and since the explosion was a vital part of the line, we were all shut up until the line was clear. As the report says, it was a boiler explosion, which used to be common among steam engines, but the new regulations and safety features should prevent that. Yes, but we all know we are human. Human error could be possible. I agree with my driver. Hey, I did see something last night. When I was preparing to leave, I saw some men standing by at Randall. I thought them to be some protection workers, but... I wasn't really sure. As everyone pondered what I said, a small plane passed overhead. Well, it could have been sabotage. There are some who hate steam engines still. Yes, but who would be stupid enough to sabotage a railway? That's true. But I think we should still consider human error. Yes, but also remember, we are talking about an experienced workers here. They have been driving steam for over 25 years. I think they would know what they are doing. What's about the passengers? How many survived? Six. Only six. I think this may be a good time, you know, for some quiet time. Maybe even prayer for those who died. We can't do anything about it, though. All we can do is just prevent what can come in the future. Hopefully. So don't settle on the past too much. Perfect. They're all still uncertain of our plans. And they don't know who we are or what we're doing yet. The boss will be pleased. Liger? you have eyes on our next target. Affirmative. The next operation is now in sequence. Over.